ArchSpark Texas presents Boxed Assemblage Inspired by Joseph Cornell Joseph Cornell, 1903-1972, the undisputed master of assemblage art. Cornell said his works were based on everyday experiences, the beauty of the commonplace. An insatiable collector, he acquired thousands of examples of printed and three-dimensional objects with these items and using discarded wooden boxes, he created magical relationships by seamlessly combining contrasting images. Assemblage and collage are similar forms of art. Art assemblage contains 3D elements. Supplies needed. A wooden box or box lid. Found objects such as dice, keys, postcards, spools of thread, beads, small rectangle wood pieces, small bottles. Scraps of decorative paper, such as wrapping paper. Magazine images and articles with text. 3D flowers and other embellishments. Acrylic paint and paintbrush. Scissors. School glue, a foam brush for spreading. Glue stick. Tape of any kind. Wire. Super glue, optional for heavy items. And another optional stamps and ink. For my example, I used a shoebox lid. Step 1. To ensure that you will be able to hang your work on a wall hook, using a ruler and a pencil, mark two dots approximately two inches from the top at the one inch and four inch measurement. Using a sharp tool such as a barbecue skewer, punch holes through the box. Take an eight inch length of wire and thread it through the holes to the back side and twist the ends to secure. If you're using a wooden box, you will need to drill holes. Collect a variety of found objects such as birthday cards and holiday cards and other embellishments. Choose a complementary color of acrylic paint to use as the background of your collage. Paint the inside of the box and set aside to dry. You could also paint the exterior of the box a contrasting color. While the paint is drying, look at the objects you have collected and start setting up your composition by overlapping them, layering them piece by piece on top of each other. Cut images from greeting cards, shapes from decorative papers, etc. When you find the design you like, using a foam brush, begin gluing the items down. The flat decorative papers first, using thin coats of school glue. We recommend using a matte medium for gluing paper as it is designed for collage projects. It's expensive, however, a small bottle will last a long time as you use a thin coat of glue for your projects. I used Mod Podge. If you have stamps, you can also use them. I didn't have ink, so I used paint on my stamps. If you use magazine images, use a glue stick as the wet glue will make the paper buckle. Also wait between the steps for the glue to dry. You can add depth to your image by cutting out shapes or images and taping them to something that will make it stand up, such as an empty matchbox. You may need to place a heavy object on top of the box until the glue is dry. You can also add glass pebbles or small, heavier embellishments, which may need super glue. If you have items that you want to add that are delicate, such as glass, we recommend you drill a hole in your box and wrap with wire around the item, then pull the ends of the wire through the hole to the back of your box. Hang your assemblage on the wall for everyone to enjoy. Thank you to our ArtSpark Texas funders. Texas Commission on the Arts, National Endowment for the Arts, Creative Forces, St. David's Foundation, Cultural Arts, City of Austin Economic Development, and Reeve Foundation Quality of Life Program.